Electric cars have been gaining popularity for a while, and now electric trucks are coming. But with it comes concerns about fires and the difficulties in extinguishing them. Join us as we explore the intricacies of electric vehicle technology, the lithium-ion batteries that power them, and why fighting an electric vehicle fire is a unique and challenging task. The rise of electric trucks and semi-trucks has been a notable trend in the transportation industry, driven by concerns over emissions, fuel costs, and advancements in battery technology, has led manufacturers to produce this type of vehicles. This includes brands like Tesla, led by CEO Elon Musk, which has been one of the most prominent names in the electric truck industry. Also, Daimler, the parent company of Mercedes-Benz, has been investing in electric truck technology. It has introduced the Mercedes-Benz e-Actros, an all-electric heavy-duty truck designed for urban distribution applications, as well as electric trucks in the Freightliner brand also owned by Daimler. Another manufacturer is Volvo Trucks, who has been actively pursuing electric truck development. It has introduced electric versions of some of its trucks, such as the Volvo FL Electric and Volvo VNR Electric. But to comprehend the challenges of electric truck fires, we must first understand the heart of these vehicles, the lithium-ion batteries. Let's look at the manufacturing process of these batteries and why they have become the go-to choice for electric vehicles. The manufacturing process of lithium-ion batteries involves several stages, from sourcing raw materials to assembling battery cells. The primary raw materials used in lithium-ion batteries include lithium, cobalt, nickel, manganese, and graphite. Lithium is a key component, as it's the lightest metal and provides high energy density. Cobalt, nickel, and manganese are used in varying proportions to create different battery chemistries, each with its own balance of energy density, stability, and cost. Lithium-ion batteries are essential for powering electric heavy-duty trucks and semi-trucks, as these vehicles rely on large battery packs to provide the energy needed for long-haul transportation. Lithium's high energy density makes it ideal for heavy-duty applications, enabling the storage of significant energy in compact and lightweight battery packs. These batteries propel electric trucks by providing power to the vehicle's electric motors. Moreover, the development of high-capacity lithium-ion batteries with fast-charging capabilities is crucial for facilitating long-haul electric trucking, allowing for quick recharging during rest breaks or at charging stations along the route. However, lithium batteries also have some serious drawbacks. More than half of the world's lithium supply comes from the Lithium Triangle, an area between Chile, Bolivia, and Argentina. The extraction of lithium, often through methods like open-pit mining, contributes to habitat destruction, soil erosion, and deforestation, adversely affecting local ecosystems and biodiversity. Moreover, lithium mining is water-intensive, and in regions already facing water scarcity, the increased demand for lithium extraction can exacerbate water stress, impacting local communities, agriculture, and wildlife. The recycling process for lithium-ion batteries is not yet efficient, posing challenges like storage and the risk of fires in facilities processing old batteries. As the electric vehicle industry evolves, these environmental impacts are expected to improve. Furthermore, there are more alternatives on the way, such as solid-state batteries, sodium-ion batteries, magnesium-ion batteries, and various others. Now that you have some insight into the manufacturing process of batteries, but there's still the question of why electric trucks are almost impossible to put out and what causes them to catch fire in the first place. Lithium-ion batteries can catch fire due to a phenomenon called thermal runaway. This occurs when the battery's internal temperature rises rapidly, leading to a chain reaction of further heat generation and chemical reactions within the battery cells. Several factors can trigger thermal runaway, including overcharging, puncture, manufacturing defects, or exposure to high temperatures. During thermal runaway, the electrolyte inside the battery can vaporize, causing pressure to build up within the cell. This pressure may rupture the battery casing, releasing flammable electrolyte and gases, the high temperatures generated can also cause the battery's electrodes and other components to ignite, further fueling the fire. 
Lithium-ion batteries are challenging to extinguish because the electrolyte they contain is highly flammable, and once ignited, the fire can sustain itself even without an external heat source. Additionally, the battery cells are tightly packed, making it difficult for firefighting agents to penetrate and cool down all affected areas effectively. Moreover, attempting to extinguish a lithium-ion battery fire with water can exacerbate the situation, as water can react with the lithium metal inside the battery, leading to the release of hydrogen gas and potentially intensifying the fire. So, how do you put it out, and how long will it take? Extinguishing an electric vehicle fire with a lithium-ion battery requires specialized techniques and materials due to the unique characteristics of these batteries. First, responders isolate the vehicle and establish a safety perimeter. Then, they focus on cooling the battery to prevent thermal runaway, often using water or specialized cooling agents. Containment is essential to prevent the fire from spreading further, followed by extinguishing using specialized firefighting agents like dry chemical powders or fire retardant gels. However, this can be very challenging, especially compared to a passenger car, as electric semi-trucks typically have much larger and more complex battery packs compared to passenger cars. These battery packs can contain a significant amount of energy and may be more challenging to access and cool effectively during firefighting operations. In certain situations, firefighters may use a specialized containment device or catch basin to contain and control electric vehicles that are burning or have the potential to catch fire, lifting the burning vehicle into the tub with a crane. Containing a burning electric semi-truck, especially if it's attached to a trailer, presents significant challenges compared to smaller vehicles. In contrast, diesel fires can be extinguished more quickly using traditional methods such as water or foam, with lower risk of reignition. But there's also another problem with electric vehicles. Electric vehicles can pose unique threats when parked together, near buildings or on ferries, especially if one vehicle catches fire. At a rest stop where multiple electric vehicles are parked close together, a fire in one vehicle can quickly spread to nearby vehicles due to their proximity. This can lead to a chain reaction, causing widespread damage and increasing the risk of injury or loss of life. If electric vehicles are parked next to buildings, a fire in a vehicle can pose a significant risk to the structure, igniting buildings, materials, and endangering occupants. So what are the manufacturers doing about it? The manufacturers are spending millions on continued advancements in technology and safety measures aimed at minimizing the risk of fires. This includes things like advanced battery management systems to monitor and control battery conditions, along with cooling systems to regulate temperatures. The batteries themselves are often enclosed in fire-resistant materials to contain any potential fires. Additionally, manufacturers test their vehicles rigorously to ensure they meet safety standards and provide training to operators and emergency responders. By implementing these measures, they aim to enhance the safety and reliability of electric trucks for customers and communities. So, are there any alternatives to the lithium batteries? There are several alternative technologies to lithium-ion batteries for powering heavy-duty trucks that offer different advantages and may be less prone to catching fire. Hydrogen Fuel Cells Hydrogen fuel cell technology uses hydrogen gas to generate electricity through a chemical reaction with oxygen, producing only water vapor as a byproduct. Fuel cell-powered trucks offer long-range and quick refueling times, making them suitable for long-haul transportation. They do not rely on combustible materials like lithium-ion batteries, reducing the risk of fire. Compressed natural gas CNG, and liquefied natural gas LNG. Trucks powered by compressed or liquefied natural gas offer lower emissions compared to diesel trucks and have a proven track record in the transportation industry. While not as common for heavy-duty, long-haul trucks due to infrastructure limitations, they can be a viable alternative in certain regions with ample natural gas resources. Biofuels Biofuels such as biodiesel and renewable diesel are derived from organic materials like vegetable oils, animal fats, or agricultural residues. These fuels can be used in existing diesel engines with minimal modifications and offer reduced greenhouse gas emissions compared to conventional diesel fuel. 
In conclusion, the rise of electric trucks brings significant advancements in transportation technology, yet it also introduces unique challenges, particularly concerning fire safety. The heart of electric trucks, lithium-ion batteries, while crucial for their operation, also pose a considerable fire risk due to thermal runaway and the flammability of their electrolyte. Extinguishing such fires requires specialized techniques and materials, highlighting the complexities of dealing with electric vehicle incidents. However, manufacturers are actively investing in technology and safety measures to mitigate these risks. While alternative technologies such as hydrogen fuel cells, natural gas, and biofuels offer promising avenues for reducing fire hazards in heavy-duty transportation. As the industry continues to evolve, a comprehensive approach to safety and sustainability will be essential in ensuring the widespread adoption of electric trucks without compromising public safety. But have you ever wondered if electric trucks really are better for the environment? Then go watch this video. Thanks for watching, and see you next week.